give some like bullet points for people that are watching this, thinking about their own book turning into a film. I'm just gonna fire questions at you, okay? So number one, do you need talent attached to the movie before you go out and try to get- Not, nece not necessary, no, no, I don't think so. Okay, Sarah. But Sarah, Sarah would say something else. <laughs> So I, I'll say it's slightly different. So I, I think it's not always necessary, um, but it helps. So and especially for a, a bigger budget movie. So like I said, kind of the big budget versus the low budget. Um, a bigger budget movie, if you have some sort of talent attached, it certainly helps. Cool, cool. <laughs> it's not always 100%. You absolutely. Oh, we don't have any, and we're getting bites. Yeah. Um. So I, I hear what you're saying. It's easier. Yes. But, but don't feel like you need Hugh Jackman to be your uncle. Be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Next, next question. Um, what is a pitch deck? So a pitch deck is, um, it's going to be something that a producer can look at at a glance. That's going to give them an overview of this world you've created. So we put one together that had, you know, sort of the Elixir project cover. Um, it had a synopsis, a pretty thorough synopsis of the story, a breakdown of the characters, um, a page that compared it to some other similar movies. And sometimes you may have heard this phrase pitch deck. Sometimes people make the mistake of making it this massive thing that people aren't going to read through. And really what you want is just a couple pages. A producer can skim it, tell right away, is this marketable? Is it not marketable? And really just get a sense of the, the world and the universe that you've created. Okay. Sophie, next question. When you, what is the magic website where you find out a lot of, uh, contact information like it's the facebook i call it the facebook for movie producers you remember what that um is it what is it i am what is it okay oh i think we're muted yeah yeah yeah, yeah. imdb imdb uh, and, and what is yes. i paid a fee to be part of that why is that important right. when you're all trying to get all the professionals um, are on there. Um, it's full of information about the industry um, mm. everywhere in the world. Um, it's easier to contact people. Um, mm. There is the free version and there is the paid version, um, but uh, it's worth it when you want to make a film. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that's definitely where you need to be if you if you want to meet professionals. I love it. I love it. Sarah, anything you want to add to that? I'll, I'll just add, I mean, Sophie already said it, um, but if you do the paid version, you can go in and what's really helpful is you can look up any movie that's similar to the kind of movie you want to make, similar to your story. And it'll literally give you a list of everyone who worked on that movie. And in most cases, give you the contact information. So you can find a direct email or direct phone number um, if you have that IMDb Pro upgrade. So it's almost like limitless contacts. So as Sophie said, it's it's definitely worth it. Um, once you have a screenplay and you're getting ready to market the screenplay, yeah. it's really valuable, yeah. Here's some fun, here's a fun question. Did we have anyone hang up on us? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I did, yes. I um. And I was surprised because we had already, we had had some connection through John, I think it was, I won't say the name of the actress, but it was a, a well-known actress that we were hoping to get for our lead role. And I think John had connected us through email. So the guy knew we existed. Um, but when I actually call, <laughs> called his office to talk, yes, he hung up on me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Someday, so we're gonna, someday yeah. we're gonna hold up the award and say, hey, we got, <laughs> we got hung up on. Yes. Right. I mean, this yeah. stuff makes you stronger. So, um, Sophie, let's 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 wrap up with this. A couple things. We put in Unhackable a lot about Elixir Project, even excerpts from it. And in the audiobook of Unhackable, they actually get Heather's, the actress, you know, reading the first chapter. But why do you think the people watching this right now? What opportunity do they have to get involved because Unhackable's launching for the people who say, you know what, I want to go on this journey with Sophie, with Sarah, with Carrie. What can they do right now with Unhackable that will help Elixir Project? Can they get the book? Can they spread the word? 
and and why if that's true why would that help elixir project movie <clears throat> Well, uh, I'd like them to have the book, uh, both actually, um, simply because it's so, it's a subject, okay, one is a fiction book, but it's about something that is quite real. Uh, we are being hacked and we are not, it's not a conspiracy or anything. It's just now our mind is busy doing, checking our emails, our phones and everything. And our dreams are going in the bin because time goes by and you can't get it back. So um, in order to get your focus back, uh, I think uh, definitely to get the Unhackable book, but also the Alexa to understand the fiction, how it could get worse. How could, how could you know, just to um, have a nice, especially for people that like action and uh, mystery and uh, a bit of sci-fi. Um, well, how can this get worse? You know, yeah. And uh, that is the question that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there, so people can go and buy the book to find out. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. So and then and then create the community, be in the community, talk about it, and be with us. Um, we are approachable, and uh, and we'd be happy to have everybody on board to help us out to make this film. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Sarah, what would you say? Um, you know, Unhackable launches in about a month from today almost, and it's tied to Elixir Project. It's almost weird to see the futures of these two things converge. Started with fiction, sci-fi, now it's sci-fact. Mm -hmm. What do you see as some opportunities in this next month for people? So, who want to get first involved? of all, I think it's so cool that you have these two that are sort of interwoven because I don't know of too many other fiction and a nonfiction book that have, have gone together quite like this. Um, to everyone watching, I mean, the more views, so this is an important thing to know in, in planning your own future screenplays too. The more views you have, the more audience there is, um, you know, the more copies of the books that sell, all of this is really, really attractive to producers. <laughs> so, you know, um, I, I am hoping you're, if you're watching this show, chances are this is a book that you're very interested in anyway. So definitely buy the book. Um, I, this book has made me so aware of all the different ways I'm being hacked. And this, yeah. this word unhackable has now entered my everyday vocabulary. And every once in a while, I have to remind myself like that came from Carrie, like that's Carrie, that's Carrie's book. So it's like entering my lexicon. Um, so it's valuable to read it for that reason, but also just in terms of pushing this movie forward, just sh being able to show that, you know, Carrie's got the views and he's got, got the support is going to be really attractive to producers. It's going to show them that they already, um, that they already have a great audience to, to share this with, and it's going to make an incredible film.